In this video, I'll tell you how many pull-ups a day should you do for muscle gain. So, watch this video until the end, it will be interesting. Few people know the benefits of pull-ups. When you pull up, you work with your own body weight. The body is genetically optimized to work with its own weight. When you hang from the bar, your spine doesn't experience compression. On the contrary, it is stretched. This is useful from the point of view of preventing pinching. The muscles hold the vertebrae, pulling them towards each other. But if you relax, you can achieve a healing effect. Of course, when you actively pull yourself up, you won't be able to relax. But there is another feature here. Firstly, you disperse blood throughout the body. And secondly, in fact, you remind the muscles for what they are needed. Pull-ups, like any other exercise, can provide little in terms of muscle growth without a number of other measures. Number one among these measures is nutrition. Consuming a lot of calories will actually allow you to gain weight. However, there is one more condition, the quality of the food. Depending on what is contained in the food, subcutaneous and visceral fat or muscle will grow more. If your food is rich in protein, muscles will receive building material. But without energy, muscles cannot work effectively. High carbohydrate foods, in turn, are rich in energy. This energy will be spent during training, and its excess will be stored in the form of glycogen. Here's the conclusion, you need both proteins and carbohydrates. Everything is simple here there is material, and there is energy synthesis occurs. This is how our body works. The best option is to calculate your daily diet in calories and grams of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. There is a lot of information in open sources about how to do this. Your first task is to make sure that the calories expended per day are less than the calories consumed. Then, the excess calories will give growth. The second task is to decide how much protein you need to consume per day based on your body weight and provide yourself with such a diet. In addition to nutrition, it is necessary to improve your lifestyle. By lifestyle, I mean the ratio of sleep and wakefulness within a day, as well as physical activity. Everything is clear with activity. The higher it is, the higher the calorie intake should be, and vice versa. You need enough sleep to feel good and energetic during the day. Some people say sleep more, and everything will be fine. But what matters is not so much the number of hours but the quality of sleep. When talking about how to gain muscle mass on the horizontal bar. Pull-up program for muscle gain. You should clarify that you will need to do different variations of pull-ups and muscle-ups. For example, you can exercise three times a week. On the first day, do pull-ups with a reverse narrow grip in three sets for the maximum number of times, but at least 10%. On the second day, do pull-ups with a wide, straight grip. The number of sets and reps is the same. On the third day, pull up with a classic medium grip, three sets of 10 reps. The last day should be easy so that your muscles don't overwork. Try doing this for a month. In 30 days, you will complete approximately 12 to 13 workouts. Then, depending on your results, you can start working on weight. Yes. You understood correctly. You will need to use additional weights. Start gradually adding additional weights. This could be a backpack with weights or a classic weight vest. The training scheme remains the same. On the first and second days, reduce the number of repetitions per set to 6 to 8. The weight should be such that the last pull-up is difficult for you. Make the third day easier. That is, Pull up 10 times without weights or with light weights. Perform all movements slowly, without jerking. People with connective tissue defects are at risk of pulling the muscles of the forearm and shoulder. Be aware of these risks and avoid sudden movements. Pull ups target the biceps, shoulders, and back. The lower back, legs, and triceps don't experience stress. In addition, Weight gain won't proceed as quickly since the load doesn't affect the entire muscles of your body. It makes sense to add dips and leg raises to your outdoor workouts. So, you will additionally load the chest, triceps, and abs. However, 
leg training gives a good increase in muscle mass due to the production of large amounts of testosterone. Here, the horizontal bar and parallel bars will no longer help. It's better to get a pair of good dumbbells or a barbell or go to the gym. Be prepared for the fact that pull-ups alone will not increase your muscle mass. As much as performing a set of basic exercises with weights. I hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. Links are on the screen right now.